Hey guys, this is Garrett with Renowned Cargo Trailers. I'm a salesman here. Today we're on the grounds at Rock Solar Cargo, our main manufacturer for our cargo trailers. And I want to showcase an eight and a half by 22 race trailer. Eight and a half by 22. It's got the 5,200 pound torsion axles on there and they're spreads. You can get a better ride, a better pull out of your trailer. Also an 11 year warranty on those axles. Exterior is fully screwless, 080 polycore. You're not going to get the waves and the wrinkles that you get out of the 030, even the 040 metal. At the bottom, we've got the 24 inch ATP all the way down, and we've got the ATP divide. With that race package, you get two recessed 110 lights. Hey, and on this trailer, we got a 48 by 78 door with a 15 by 30 tinted slider window in it, so you get some natural light inside. It does raise up, so you can't get some ventilation. Open the ramp door, open the window, you get cross ventilation, you get those fumes out of there, or if it's nice outside, you come in, catch a breeze, get out of the heat. It's got an 18 foot electric awning on this, 12 foot awning, you've got a battery inside, it's fully electric. Button on the inside, you can extend and retract all in one button, so no manual crank. On this trailer, we've got a 12 by 12 fuel door, so when you pull up to the gas pump, you don't want to have to let the ramp down, run your gas in there, Fill up your buggy, fill up your car, over and done with. On the front of the trailer, we've got a 5,000 pound electric jack. It's a 12 volt jack as well as an extended thumb. Um, wired to the battery, let it up, let it down. No more cranking of the elbows. Thing's too heavy to crank. That motor base plug for the electrical package, so when you pull it up at the track, you plug straight up to that to your generator. It runs all your 110 stuff, your air conditioner, everything. 36 inch generator door, vented door. It's got the slide out tray, so no more toting around the generator. Put the generator on, run it, when you're through with it, slide it back in there, throw your 50 amp cord in there and you're gone. You put a, a 12 by 12 on this side too, because sometimes if you've got multiple buggies or two four wheelers or a car in a buggy, it's just easy to get it from both sides. So we put a 12 by 12 fuel door here directly across, it's centered over the fenders, easy access to fuel up whatever's inside. 5,200 pound axles again, with the Eagle aluminum wheels, Gives the trailer a real good look. On the back of the trailer, we'll put a super, super duty ramp door. It's got the big bumpers at the back. I'm gonna let this thing down, show you the 48 inch flaps. You get plenty of room, plenty of, of angle to load whatever you're trying to load. Okay guys, so this is the 48 inch flap. It gives you plenty of angle, like I was saying, to load, unload your cars. You don't have to worry about bottoming out. And it's got the, butt, the beaver tail inside as well. So it gives you plenty of slope to get inside the trailer. The whole thing's finished and the rubber tread plate, the black diamond, four recessed D-rings. Got white metal walls and ceiling, and this trailer is insulated. You put a 15,000 BTU air conditioner inside, fully insulated walls and ceilings. So when you run out of that air conditioner in the, in the summer, you're really gonna get the benefits of it. Speakers, 110 light. We've got a Bluetooth radio up front, so when you're at the track, you're out at the park with your, with your buggy, Pair your radio to it, listen to your music, have a party. We've got two recessed tire boxes in the trailer. Um, just in case you've got one for your buggy or one for storage, the other one for your car. Plenty of room to put straps, cables, helmets, whatever kind of extra gear you've got. This is the generator box. It comes off in the L from the base cabinets. Like I was saying, the slides on the outside of this. So in these base and overhead cabinets, if you look down here, this is where the 60 amp panel box is. You've got the crank for the electric jack. If by some chance it does go dead, and the 12 volt battery. The battery's hooked up to the pigtail on the truck. So when you're going down the road, it's charging itself. In the winter, you may have to put a tender on it just to make sure that it stays. But if you're using the trailer throughout the summer, the fall, the spring, it's gonna stay plenty charged. You won't have to worry about a tender. And your jack will always work as well as your 12 volt stuff. With your Bluetooth radio, we've got four speakers inside, and I already talked about the two speakers outside, so plenty of, plenty of sound coming out of this thing. And you've got, on this side over here, you've got your recessed housing for your exterior lights. On your door, this is the slider I was talking about. It's tinted, you can't see in as well, see out just fine. Got a regular house style latch on it. Lift it up, there's your screen. Air coming through, and you get rid of those fumes and create some cross ventilation. This is the switch for your awning. I'm gonna extend it while we're inside and we'll go out and take a look at that in just a second. But guys, this is the awning. And if you live in the South, you'll appreciate the shade in the summertime. 
set your chairs out here. You got an exterior GFI, you can plug a fan in. Anything electrical will be running off that 110 circuit. Plenty of room under here for your kids, for your car, again, for your buggy. Anything you got to get out of the shade, out of the rain, this is the place to do it. Hey, if you hadn't already, check us out. We're on all social media platforms. You can find us at renownedcargotrailers.com or give us a call, 888-287-3954.